Hey guys, it's Hogan here. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to install WordPress on Cloudways, as well as connecting it to your domain name step-by-step. -step. So first of all, what exactly is Cloudways? Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform, allowing you to launch your website and apps on cloud infrastructures, such as AWS, Google Cloud, and DigitalOcean, without actually managing the servers yourself. So unlike traditional web host, where they put your website in a shared environment where you're sharing resources with other websites. With Cloudways, you're able to set up a virtual private server with dedicated resources on those cloud infrastructures. Basically, that means that your website is gonna load a lot faster and have better performance. By the end of this video, you'll have a lightning fast WordPress website up and running, and I'll even show you guys a live speed test. So let's get started and jump in the computer. To get started, you can head to cloudways.com or you can click on the first link in the description, which will take you to Cloudways. So from here, we can click on start free. Next, you want to enter in your details. Monthly spending, I'm going to set it to 50. And also for a promo code, you can enter in the promo code Hogan. So if you actually do um, sign up after the trial period, then you'll get 20% off for the first three months click on I agree, and then click on sign up. Next, you want to activate your account. So head to your email, click on activate my account now, enter in your phone number, and enter in the verification code, and click on verify. Next, we can click on start free trial. So right now we're in the dashboard of our Cloudways account, and it's automatically redirected us to set up your first server and application. So for the installation, we're going to be installing WordPress, but you can also install other apps as well, as well as a custom app. So we're going to select this one here. For the application name, so this can be your domain name, so maybe your domain name. And then for the server name, so this could be your main server for your main website. It could be maybe a server for your clients. So let's just say, for example, it's just your main website server for your own personal website. For your project, you can name this anything that you want. So maybe project one. And we're gonna keep this as defaults, the hybrid stack. Here we can actually select the server. So normally I recommend DigitalOcean or Vulture. You can also check out Linode. For AWS and Google, those are going to be for sort of mission critical websites and apps. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive to start off with and you actually can't uh, use it on the free trial. You have to upgrade first to actually test it out. The main difference between DigitalOcean and Vulture is that DigitalOcean is gonna be a little bit cheaper. So if we actually select the one gigabyte plan, which I think for most beginners, it's enough to get started. If you're getting decent amount of traffic already, um, then you may wanna opt for the two gigabyte plan. But as you uh, will see later, you can also scale up really, really easily um, if you do need more resources. So you can check out the locations. With DigitalOcean, there are only nine locations and normally you wanna pick a location which is closest to your audience, allowing your website to load faster. With Vulture, you do also have more uh, locations and I normally recommend the high frequency one. It's gonna be, I think, $2 more per month compared to the DigitalOcean Premium. So as you can see here, I think they have over 30 different locations to choose from. So you've got more locations in Europe, as well as Asia Pacific, as well as South America and Africa. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and select DigitalOcean, and I'm going to select the one gigabyte plan one, because if you need more resources, you can also scale up. So we're going to select the location. I'm going to select Sydney, and then we're going to click on launch now. So this is gonna take a few minutes, between five to 10 minutes to set up your server for your WordPress installation. So I'm gonna come back in about 10 minutes. Once your server has finished setting up, it should appear here and we can click into that. So here is where you can basically monitor your server usage. You can also basically control your server setup as well as scale up. So for example, if you do need to scale up for more resources, you can easily do it here. If we wanna access the app, for example, the WordPress installation that we just installed, you can hover on the top here and click on the WW and then click into the WordPress installation. You can also find your applications on the left-hand side by hovering over here and you can click on my applications as well. And that's gonna take you to the access details of the WordPress installation. 
So this is going to give you the staging URL. So right now it's not connected to any domain name. For example, yourwebsite.com, it has a staging URL. So you can click here and that's gonna direct you to the WordPress login. What you can do is you can copy the email, username, paste it in, as well as copy over the password and also paste it in and click on login. This here is gonna be your WordPress installation and this is the back end of your WordPress website. The front end is over here. So right now we're not going to be building the website. I'm just gonna show you guys how to actually connect it to your own domain name. So to do that, we can't actually purchase the domain name in Cloudways. So you would have to actually get a domain name from a domain registrar. If you haven't purchased a domain name yet, I do recommend namecheap.com because they offer the cheapest domains as well as free domain privacy. So you can just go here and type in the name that you want. For example, like your domain, 123A maybe, click on search and try to find the domain that you want. And if you found it, then you can go ahead and add it to cart and purchase that domain. So if you have a domain already, so you need to log in to your domain registrar, for example, Namecheap or GoDaddy or wherever you purchase your domain name. And then what you need to do is you need to go to manage for that specific domain. And then you wanna to try to look for advanced DNS. So click on that. So once you've found the advanced DNS settings, then basically we need to change the sort of hosting records. So right now we do have some records here and I'm gonna go ahead and delete these because I'm gonna add in the new ones. So what we need to do is we can go back over here. So what you can do is you can try to navigate back to the server, maybe over here, all servers, and let's click into the server. So this is going to be the public IP address. So you can copy that. So copy that server information, come back over here. And then here we wanna look for the host records and then click on add new record. And we wanna add it a record. For the host, we're gonna type in at, come back here and just copy that IP address and then paste that in. For the time to live, I'm gonna set this to the lowest one first. So this is going to speed up the propagation of your domain name. Let's click on that and save. Then what I wanna do is add another record, also another A record, and I'm gonna do WW. And then the IP address is gonna be the same one. I'm also gonna set this to one minute and save. So once your domain has fully propagated, you may wanna set this to automatic. So let's click back over here. Now we need to go back to find our application. So you can either click here or we can hover over here and click on my applications. So we're gonna go ahead and click into that then what we need to do is we need to change the URL. So right now it's on the staging URL. What we need to do is click on domain management and we're going to click on add domain. So we're gonna add in the domain name that we have. So for this example, this is the domain name. Okay, your one should be your one and we're gonna paste this in here and then click on save changes. So once we've done that, then we need to set this to the primary and set as primary domain. So once you've added in your domain name here and set it to primary, all we need to do now is we can copy your domain name and we can go to a website called whatsmydns.net and we can paste in your URL here, set it to A and then click on search. So basically what we wanna do is you wanna make sure that for all these locations, this is going to be your new IP address and ensuring that is all set in and it has the green ticks. So that basically means that your domain is fully propagated. So we can head back over here and let's just double check the server again and make sure that is the server IP address. Okay, so for some locations, it's not ready yet. So what I generally like to do is maybe come back in an hour or so. And then what we need to do is we're gonna set in and add our SSL certificate. Let's navigate back to the application first. Okay, so I'm gonna come back in around an hour, but we can click on SSL certificate. Okay, so it's been about an hour and the domain is fully propagated to the new IP address. 
So you want to head to your application and then click on the SSL certificate. And here we can enter in our email and then enter in your domain name. And then here we're going to click on install certificate. So that's going to take a few minutes for that to install the SSL certificate on your website. So if we navigate to our website now, it's going to show that it's not secure. So basically what this does, it's going to install the Let's Encrypt certificate and that's going to ensure that your website is secure and it shows the HTTPS. Okay, so I think the SSL certificate has been installed on that domain name. And if we refresh the website, now it doesn't show the unsecure warning anymore. And as you can see, the connection is secure. So that is pretty much good to go. And you can start building out your WordPress website. If you have an existing uh, website and you want to transfer, you can also contact the support over here and they can help basically migrate your old website onto Cloudways as well. So next, I want to show you guys how you can actually add another application on the same server. So we can hover over here. We can click on my server and this is the server. You can actually add additional servers, for example, on my Cloudways account, I have a server for my main website. And then I've also got a few other servers for different clients in different countries. For example, I also have a server in Australia for uh, sort of local business websites, all hosted in that same server. So in that server, you can host unlimited websites as well. So for example, if you wanna add another website, we can hover over here and then we can click on add application. And here we can, set in a new application and also set in a new name. So a new domain and we can select the project or create a new project, add application. Okay, so the application has been added and we can navigate here and this is gonna be the new domain. So basically what you need to do is you'll need to basically connect your domain name again, as well as um, setting up the IP address on the domain registrar and then adding in your SSL certificate. And basically you can host unlimited websites there. So with the website we basically installed onto the DigitalOcean server, you can copy that. You can go to tools.pingdom.com and navigate to the Pingdom website speed test, plug in your URL, and we can test from the location which is closest to our server and click on start test. So what you're gonna notice is if you've been using traditional shared hosting is it's gonna be loading a lot quicker for you, but also when you're actually building your website, it's also going to be a lot quicker. So it's just sort of like when you get like a new computer or a new phone, everything is just faster. So that's basically the power of Cloudways. And as you can see, it loads super, super quick. Let's head back to our Cloudways dashboard. As you can see, basically you are on the three day free trial and that's going to expire unless you do get uh, the full access, basically just need to enter in your um, payment details as well as your address and proceed for payment. So normally with Cloudways, it's pay as you go. You don't pay sort of like 12 months in advance uh, or 24 months or 36 months like traditional web host. So for example, this month is like $16, then you're gonna pay that amount. That's basically it for this Cloudways tutorial. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and found it useful. If you have any questions, you can drop it in the comment section below.